So this couple wakes up one day and they find $120,000 in their bank account that they didn't put there. So what are they going to do with it? So the couple, his name's Robert and her name's Tiffany. And Robert and Tiffany, they're normal working class people. But one day they wake up and they're probably having their morning coffee and their Fruit Loops or whatever when one of them checks their bank account. Now normally their account will have around $1,000 in it on average. Oh, but not on this day. On this day they have an extra $120,000 and neither of them put it there. So Robert and Tiffany see this and they're like, what the f***? And I'm sure they're like refreshing the app to see if this is an error, but this six figure number doesn't go away. So Robert and Tiffany look at each other and they're like, what do we do? Do we call the bank? Do we call the police? I mean, whose fault is this? I mean, they didn't steal the money. It just appeared there. Now, they could go report this, I guess, but that's not what Robert and Tiffany do. Instead, they decide they're gonna spend it. So Robert and Tiffany, they get started right away. Start off kind of small. They're paying off some bills they owe money on, trying to relieve some of that debt that's been building up. And the transactions work. Like there's no issues, there's no errors. The money spends just like any other money would spend. So now their bills are paid and that's great and all, but they still have a ton of money left. And that can only mean one thing. It's time to go shopping. Rich people shit. Billionaire shit. So they go out and buy a couple of four wheelers, a new camper, a new SUV, a whole ass race car, cause I guess they're really into racing, all kinds of stuff. And then because Robert and Tiffany are generous people, they give away about $15,000 of the money to some of their friends who need it. So they're doing a lot with this money. It's been really good for them. And after about two and a half weeks, they've spent nearly all of the 120,000 and they still don't know how it got in their account. I guess it's just free money. <laughs> Until one day, someone working at an investment firm, they reach out to the bank like, Hey, uh, a couple weeks ago, we deposited 120 grand into our account and it's not showing up here. Uh, any idea where that money could be? And so the bank is like, all right, we'll look into it. And they start investigating and tracing where all this money went. And sure enough, they find that a bank teller had made an error and mistakenly routed the money to Robert and <laughs> Tiffany's bank account. So they look into that account and they see that of the $120,000, Robert and Tiffany had already spent spent 107,000 of it. So the bank immediately does what banks do. They correct the error by taking back the 120,000 from Robert and Tiffany's account and they credit it to the investment firm, which leaves Robert and Tiffany's account overdrawn by $107,416. The bank then calls up Tiffany and they let her know her account's overdrawn and that she and Robert need to pay back the $107,000. And to her credit, Tiffany admits that she and her husband had spent all that money and and she says she needs to go and speak to her husband to figure out some kind of repayment plan. But then Tiffany just completely ghosts the bank. They call her back, but she doesn't answer. She doesn't return any of their calls. She's basically like, fuck you. No, instead, Robert and Tiffany just kind of fall off the radar. I guess they hope this problem will just go away on its own. Which is funny to me, but unfortunately for them, the bank doesn't find it very funny. And after a while of not being able to get a hold of them, the bank calls the police. So then police track Robert and Tiffany down and they arrest them. Now, I couldn't find their mugshots, but here's what they look like in real life. And they're charged with multiple felonies like theft and receiving stolen property. And they face up to 10 years in prison for this. But they both take a plea deal and they both get seven years probation and they have to pay the money back. If it were me, I would have spent that shit too. And all this happened in Pennsylvania, so shout out to Pennsylvania. 